capacity of an individual to have an effect on someone's choices, behaviors, and perspectives. Okay, so let us move in that direction. And I will use the word influencer very loosely and very fluidly all throughout this presentation. Okay, now, when you talk about influence, for example, in the field of social media, who will be the first names that will come out of your mind? For example, you are a connected generation. What is the number one social network site? Facebook, all right? So, influencer in social media could be, number one, Mark Zuckerberg, right? Is Mark Zuckerberg an influencer? Yes, no? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all right. What if, for example, Mark Zuckerberg tells you tomorrow that Facebook will shut down? How will that affect your life? I think in a major way, right? Okay, another influencer is the CEO of Snap, Ivan Spiegel. Heard of him? Yeah. Okay, so many people also complained when Snap was copied by Instagram stories. Almost everybody migrated to Instagram. Okay. Okay, some um, influencers top of mind when we hear personal finance. Bo Sanchez, yeah, Bo Sanchez, I've heard it. And Fitz Villafuerte, right? When we talk about personal finance, these are one of the top names that will pop of our mind. All right? Third, I think, since you're a, you're a young generation, gadgets and tech, when you want to have information on the latest cell phone model, who do you visit? Which website? Which influencers do you look up to? You get tech, Abe, who's having his birthday today, by the way. And unbox.ph, Carlo up there, right? You're from agencies, no? Okay, that's why you know them. <laughs> All right, so those are just um, some categories that, um, when, I, when you think of these categories, you automatically have names in mind, right? Okay, and there are plenty of others. Say Korean fashion, there's, there's Trisha, right? Travel, there's probably um, Angel Hulagay. Right? And there are many other influencers depending on the category. Right? Okay. Now, how can you be an online influencer? If you want to be an online influencer, if you want to build your influence online, if you want to have a huge follower base, first, focus on a niche and talk about it in your online channels. And I mean online channels, not only your social network. Talk about it when you email somebody. Talk about it in forums or in other um, online other avenues that you have. Focus on a niche. Talk about it in your online channels. And this involves so much about content. Okay? For example, you want to be an influencer on, say, Sir looks like an influencer on cars. Example. You want to be an influencer on cars. So all the content that you can find on cars or you can create about cars, you post that. There's a TPL insurance that, um, that is available in the market, so much cheaper than, than what we have in the government. Post about it, write about it, repurpose that content, put that in your social networks, email that to people. Look at pieces of content that would be relevant to this niche that you want to have influence in, and use that in your social networks, use that in your online channels. And if you want to be an influencer, of course, it also involves being consistent with this type of content. I can't be an influencer on cars if I only post about cars probably once a month. No. How often do you use Facebook? You are young leaders. And the operative word is young. How often are you in Facebook? Every day. If you can post about cars every day, why not? 
Be an influencer in cars. Post about cars every day. Be consistent. All right? I have another seat there. I can't see it. Can you, um, the presentation, please? I can't see the last C. <laughs> Consistency and, um, okay, we'll, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll talk about the last C later. And, um, okay. Now, second, you have to be seen with people in the same field. Sige, let's move in that car's trail of thought. If you are seen with other car influencers, for example, Mark Soon or Angie King, if you are seen with them, you attend the same events, you go to you know, places where they go, that increases your credibility of being a car influencer. This is a young leader, and I believe many people in this room will change the world. Someday, sooner or later, we will. Because these are people who think like you, who are, in the same, who are with the same interests as you, and you are seen with them. You are in the Asian Young Leaders Summit. You are a leader. And when you are in events like this, when you are seen with people in the same field, with like-minded individuals, that also increases your learning and gives you more capacity. Right? So take note of the C's. Example, those are fashion bloggers. They're seen together. And so they're even, they even you know, um, make that uh, influence, that credibility, even more um, great. <laughs> so yeah. And lastly, very important, add real value to your network, right? What does that mean? You want to be a car influencer, right? Okay, so get in touch with people who are interested in cars and make sure that you provide them something that's useful for them. Probably news, other information, um, international updates, add real value to this network. Because at the end of the day, people will know how much you care about them. You know, one of um, people I look up to in the advertising industry, Amor Maklang, she always says now, the first push is always the heart. So, if you want to be an influencer, be genuinely concerned. And um, not a lot of people do this, but most of the influencers I interviewed tell me this, the crusade part. What is that? If there's something about your field of influence that you want to um, push further, for example, for example, there are a lot of beauty influencers that really made so much noise online when the government released news about the vanity tax. So these are people who would fight for not taxing their, their cosmetics. So, okay, let's go back to the nine C's. Oh, the presentation is not all right. I told you just show the PDF. All right. Um, I'm signing my signature there because this is me. I didn't get that online. The nine C's of online influence. First, it's really about your content. Repurpose content, create content, make content available. Be consistent. Do not only post about it once a month, once a week. If you can't do that every day, do that. And be very creative, of course. You see a cloud in the sky that looks like a car. Post that because it's related to that field. Be creative. If you want to be a top of mind name in whatever field you choose, be creative. Increase your credibility by associating yourself with people who think like you, people who like the same things as you, right? Create connections, build connections. At the end of the day, it's who you know. Number six, increase your capacity, learn. 
Never, ever stop learning. You are all young. I think the not youngest in this room is around 40. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the seventh is care. Show care and show concern. People will know if what you have is something that's authentic. And lastly, if there is a cause in your field of interest, you fight for it, crusade, right? Those are the online, those, those are the nine C's of online influence. And I coined that term. That's my signature. I sincerely wish that uh, on your way to building your online influence, you have picked up something important from this talk. Thank you very much, guys.